What up, family? What's up, YouTube? Okay, so what I also want to talk about today is um, like the mental war that is going on in the whole world, and people people don't understand. Sometimes they don't understand that there is a plot on keeping the masses blind to a lot of things. And I'm going to show you that in the scripture in the Apocrypha and Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14. Uh, it's a very important chapter to those who like wrestle with the Jesus understanding because it, it shows like in Christianity when people don't really, when, when you think about Jesus, you think about um, the white image of Jesus. But when you read Revelations chapter one and fourteen, it explains that him it explains that he's a very dark skinned man. Well, when you read Wisdom of Solomon, it will show you how they came up with that idea of him being a white guy with blue hair, I mean blue eyes and blonde hair and all that. It was it was a son of a of of a late Pope. The son died and they uh turned him to an idol, the, the remembrance of him actually he became a god. He became a false god, bottom line. And you get that story, you can get it online, uh, called the, the Borgiers. But this is not what I'm here to talk about right now. But that information is all in this chapter. But right here in this chapter also is something that I always um, kept near to me was in chapter 14, Wisdom of Solomon in the Apocrypha, chapter 14, verse 20. Let me get my glasses. Verse 21. And it was an occasion to deceive the world, for men serve either calamity or tyranny. Wit described unto stones and stocks of incommunicable name. Moreover, this was not enough for them that they erred in the knowledge of God. But whereas they lived in the great war of ignorance, those so great place called their peace. So that the point I want to make is there's a great war on people's ignorance. And like I said, this chapter was basically designed to show you the uh, the manipulation of the believing of one Christ versus the other Christ. But that only came with, uh, with the uh, powers to be warring and manipulating the minds of those who would not seek out truth on their own. Verse 22 again. Moreover, this was not enough for them that they erred in the knowledge of God. And a lot of people knowledge, uh, err in the knowledge of God. I'm constantly seeking growth. I'm constantly seeking understanding. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to be worshiping the Creator. And a lot of people are worshiping God's. And they have it all backwards. And that's a whole nother little uh, lesson to um, unravel. But the point is, we be erring in the knowledge of God, not knowing what he would want us to do. And the reason why is because we're not reading the, 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 the many texts of those who come before us are not just that. We're not even going out into nature and seeing how, how things move naturally and, and, harm, and harmonious. But this it's, it's a war, meaning they've put out books for you to think this way. So you'll be ignorant regarding the most high. And they'll put a book out. They'll have you have you have your, your Christianity, your Muslim, your Hinduism. You have all these things that's separating people from each other. When when the creator wants us all to be in harmonious peace with one another and honoring him and honoring each other. But part of that division is is to make 
one God white, one God black, one God Asian, one God East Indian, all that type of stuff. But even more than that, knowing that they have a war on, on our minds on that type of aspect, they have, our, they have a war on our understanding on food. They try to tell us uh, the, the, the basic uh, the food chart. I don't remember by heart, but they got meat on the menu. They got uh, cheese, dairy. Those things inflame your body. How can those things be uh, part of the, uh, the food uh, chain of good health when those things inflame your body, cause you to get sick, and, and, and we sometimes, depending on if you have parents that actually love you and, and taught you and, and build with you, if you don't, like most people don't, parents are too, they're slaves where they're always having to work, so they, they can't really teach you the basics. So guess what? You're going to school, and they're giving you a little carton of milk. They're teaching you how to, how to increase mucus in your body. You know, they're giving you pizza, clogging up your arteries with cheese. So there's been a war on not just our spiritual aspect, a war on our nutritional factor, a war on just our peace in general. So it's very important that you get into the fight. Stop thinking that it's... Um, Kumbaya, my Lord. It's like it's all good. No, you have to study. You have to read. You have to break things down. You, matter of fact, first of all, you have to be in a state of mind where you're constantly being able to destroy all what you thought you knew and relearning again. Becoming more like a child again. A child is always open to new knowledge. We have to constantly be open so that we can actually get more clarity for ourselves. We, we, we can't be uh, so caught up in, oh, I learned this. I inherit this understanding from my parents. And you could have been inheriting lies. Moreover, this was not enough for them that they erred in the knowledge of God. But whereas they lived in a great war of ignorance. So they lived in a great war of ignorance, meaning they, they carried on with their lives. They lived and they lived in a, and they were ignorant. They did not know. We did not know. I did not know. You did not know at times. And, and we have to constantly bring ourselves to the knowledge. And I always tell one of my colleagues, I would say, I believe that when you as, as you get older as a human, you're supposed to become more wiser. And that's not necessarily the case. In, in, in this world, you have your anecdotal scenarios where you got your, 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 your handful of people who's constantly progressing, but quite naturally, you would think that more people, as they get older, they would know. But no, you see more men, more women, overweight, sick, when they've had 40, 50 years to understand and learn and research what they've put in their mouth. But they don't study to find out what they're putting in their mouth, what they're putting in their body, because they've lived in a great war of ignorance. They're choosing ignorance. They're choosing that. They're not, they don't think that because they don't think that there's people plotting on their good well being. They don't want to look at it like that. It, it's, a, it's a messed up situation to think about, but it's reality. It's reality. This scripture says, love your own soul. There's not people waiting uh, to, to love your soul. You're responsible for that. You're responsible for your health. You're responsible for what you put in your body. You're responsible for your level of awareness and intelligence. Are you going to just accept what every one says to you without doing your due diligence, that's not using wisdom, especially if you're a parent. 
Especially if you're a parent because you're responsible for your children. So I just wanted to put that out there. Go back to Wisdom of Solomon chapter 14 by the Apocrypha and just highlight that thing up because it really does break down some of the um, deceptions that majority of people in the West are um, are just walking blindly in. So with that, I'm out. Holla at you later. Peace.